like uh, the time in history that most interests me, maybe 50,000 years ago, because okay. at this time you had Homo erectus, you had um, Neanderthals, and you had the earliest Homo sapiens all coexisting in Europe at the same time. I, I would love to learn more about how those uh, you know, different groups of hominids interacted with each other. Now, just think about that time. You know, yeah. you think racism now is bad. Can you imagine if there's two other species of human coexisting in the same ground that you're trying to live on? It's pretty wild. So what's what's the consensus of how Homo sapiens survived and the other ones didn't? Um, I, I think a lot of paleoanthropologists would tell you that they uh, we kind of bred them into us. And we're smarter. I mean, light, and we're also, frankly, in my opinion, I think Homo sapiens, our main benefit was the fact that our facial muscles and our structures are designed to look somewhat pretty. You know, we're, we're supposed to be more charismatic than the other species of hominid. I think that really played to our advantage. I think essentially we outhunted, um, you know, outcompeted and interbred with uh, other hominid species. And essentially, there really didn't, there wasn't much, you know, purebred, you know, Neanderthals or Homo erectus left afterwards. That would be my guess. You know, of course, it's a theory and every extinction, it's not, uh, you know, singular cause. It's always a culmination of events that leads to an extinction of a species. But to me, that would be my best guess. You know, we're mean, man. We're Homo sapiens are not to be messed with. We're, we're the we're the winner. We're the, yeah, I mean, I was thinking about up. that on the bus ride today. Oh. It's like how we just, you know, I'm so I'm taking the bus on Lakeshore Drive and then Michigan Avenue and just looking around all the buildings, all the construction, yeah. how humans are able to manipulate their environments to appease their goals or imaginations or shared visions it's pretty fascinating it's amazing man like <laughs> no other species we don't think worried. about that enough yeah i mean our colonies are bigger than even ant colonies we blow them out of the water like we're insane no other animal no other mammal even comes close to living in the density of proximity that we it's nuts it's like, you know, you have, there's us and then there's insects when it comes to our population density, and our built environment. Yeah. The only other animals that even come close to altering their environment as much as humans is actually beavers because beavers okay. and their constructions of dams actually really vastly alters an entire environmental landscape. And they're the only other species that probably has as much impact as humans or had uh -huh. before we entered the 